Hey guys, welcome to Amsterdam Science Park. This is the home of the science department of University of Amsterdam as well as Amsterdam University College. I know that a lot of you guys are probably working so hard now on your admission application to make that study in Holland dream come true. So to help you relieve a bit of that stress, I want to invite you to come with me to visit Amsterdam University College where together we're gonna learn a lot about the behind the scenes stuff that happened to your application package after you submit it. So let's get going. My name is Mariette Willemsen and I am a philosopher by training. At AUC here, uh, currently in a transition stage between two roles, senior tutor. I'm transitioning to uh, head of studies for the humanities department. As a senior tutor in charge of the tutoring team and tutors play an important role in the review process. They review the applications. Well, more in general, we have 900, 900 students. We call them tutees then in, 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 that, in that sense. All tutees have a tutor. And tutors are academic advisors. Academic, they offer academic guidance and we have so 35 tutors in the building each of them has 20 or 30 tutees to guide and all those tutors are, are teachers at the same time and um, so they're academic professionals they know the program from within and that is because we have a um, interesting program where you have to make a lot of choices <laughs> and it's good to have advice there and we also feel well very committed to our students also because we have a residential program yeah. Um, well, so they are academic advisors. Okay. You could say that the traditional universities tend to be uh, monodisciplinary, and we try to be interdisciplinary. Um, so we would be focusing less on just one yeah. discipline, and that's that's an important thing, and it goes hand in hand with a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. And there's also um, part of our pedag pedagogy would be to have small classes. We have classes uh, with not more than 25 students and that triggers uh, what we find important discussion-led classes and interaction between teacher and students and between student and student. Because we work together with um, two Amsterdam universities and we can compare those programs and I would indeed say if they sometimes they compare it and they can s we can see well there's it's more intensive and it's also the different assessment structure for example that um, adds an extra level of intensity to the program and um, the whole assessment structure we do not just offer one exam near the end of the semester but we like to have different work forms different types of assessments throughout the semester of course it depends, it could vary from year to year, but if we look at uh, the last year and we start with 1100 and we end up with around 300 students, third or fourth of yeah. the application. At some point of course students um, let us know that they would be interested in the program, they would have to make an account and that's sort of step one. And then they are invited to send in their application. And already at that point, some students in the end do not um, do not do this or do not complete it. That's a sort of first self-selection because then they say, oh, that's so difficult. Oh, I, I um, in the end, my grades are not good enough or I never got this letter of recommendation. Or that's sort of part of the selection. In a way, it's a sort of self-assessment there or self-selection. And first check, as you can imagine, is an administrative check, of course, to see, well, is this diploma phallic? is the paperwork in order. And that's an administrative thing, of course. That is uh, not so much about content, the content of the application. After that, there's this important step three where tutors review the application and we look into the letters of recommendation, the motivation, the grades. I'm mentioning this as a third thing, but it's actually a very important thing to look at the academic excellence of the student. Tutors uh, review these things. Sometimes they consult another tutor if there's something special going on, whatever that could be. But we also have a fourth 
next step, students are invited to our admissions day. It would be a conversation between two persons. A tutor could be the same tutor as the one who reviewed the actual application, could also be one of the other tutors. And this person would again walk through the application and then have a conversation with the student on this admissions day. And sometimes it's a Skype session if the student okay. could not come to AUC. It's a sort of extra check, not only from us, um, but also from the student himself or herself to ask questions, to have a conversation. Well, often they're here in the building to see what it looks like. It could happen, and it sometimes does, that a student says in the end, no, I think I'd rather not. And that's important. We want students to be inspired yeah. and, f and think, okay, this is the place for me to be. How much time does a tutor spend on reading oh my, my application? <laughs> and also that differs from student to student. And also from tutor to tutor. Some tutors are very experienced and they can, I guess you you know that, that you, when you're good at something you can recognize exactly what's going on and you go through it. Well, I wouldn't have, it would be difficult to say exactly how many minutes or 15 or 20 or so, but it would, it could change. Because sometimes you would really say, hey, that's interesting, this letter of recommendation, because it gives a different type of information and you would ponder and reflect and walk into that. And other would just walk through it and read it and say okay I can see what's going on here the diploma is right grades are fine uh, the English is good the math requirements are uh, there's no problem here and but I, and then you take notes and that's it next review session where a different tutor could or would be involved and there are meetings among tutors where they sometimes would discuss a certain Special application cases. or say oh this is this is your you're an expert in this field maybe you could also walk through it we first focus on academic excellence, but it is a demanding program. Of course, we do not only look at grades, but it's important. It seems that grades are an important, if not the most important, indicator of, say, academic su success. The grades are good. Well, that's, I'd say, necessary, but not sufficient. That's the first thing we look at. And then, of course, there's the, the motivation and ambition to do a liberal arts program. It could well be that someone has very good grades, but then you look into the motivation and you think, but this person is only talking about law courses but shouldn't you be looking into a law program we have a great law program but it's part of a liberal arts program at some point a student could say no no but I do want to focus on the law program within the framework of all the other courses and well then it's fine but I just want you to make sure that this is not a monodisciplinary law program we need to see that the student is aware of what it means to follow a liberal arts program I really want to stress this some students you could be an underachiever we can see the potential and we can see also maybe from the letter of recommendation so these can really add something that the person may not have scored high grades all the time but that there were certain circumstances or that you could see well that was at some point didn't go so well but there's this ambition and potential and you can't you can't see everything from the grade it's a very good indicator but it's not all there is to say there's also indeed this ambition motivation important to make a correction here because it's not the AUC committee who is saying we do not recognize this program. The sort of national rules and that's from the government and it's from UFA. This, this, this is not just uh, that it's the Amsterdam University but falling under the government. So that this is not just that we think well we do not recognize this program. We have to live by those rules. Sometimes indeed we cannot allow a student to the program because the diploma is just not equal to VWO, the high school diploma. We would require not as AUC but as uh, as an academic uh, institution. So then there's not much we can do. We have to live by those rules. We, we cannot bend the rules. If such a thing were possible, we could never do it on our own. We are um, committed to the higher education system and we can't work with different diplomas. Okay. And so we can't ourselves make up, a th think of an alternative test. It's, it's always important to prepare, um, to, to look into the documents and you would have to make sure that you know what you're applying for and then just be fair about your own potential and about your own ambitions and then sit down, spell it out. <laughs>